Since its inception, microfinance has been part of the social economy. But too often, it is deployed in ways that undermine indigenous banking systems, reinforce unequal power dynamics, and perpetuate social exclusion. Too often, microfinance's advocates and its critics tell a generic story of commercialization. But as Dr. Caroline Shanaz Hossein shows in Politicized Microfinance, they fail to examine the intersectional identities and the people who run these programs. Centuries ago, people of color were pooling money and engaging in collective banking. But in recent years, microfinance has unfolded in a highly politicized manner, affects black people in particular ways, and exists in a historical and colonial context. Her research focuses on programs that target marginalized people and the people trying to access economic resources in the black Americas. Drawing on diasporic black feminist theory and a framework of intersectionality, she uses the concept of politicized microfinance in two distinct ways. First, in the way big man politics and identity exclusions further oppress the entrepreneurial poor. And second, in the way alternative money systems can bring about social change. Her work shows that the neutrality of microloans is a myth. Microfinance, in reality, is highly politicized, a tool designed by the very people in charge to either instigate or mitigate exclusion.